Hi friends, I'm Jess. Welcome to the Hex Library. Today we're going to be going over my TBR takedown for the month of July. If you're new here, I do have a lot of new subscribers right now. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related content a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. But for now, future me, roll the intro. The TBR Takedown is a game I've been playing for the past couple of years trying to get my TBR down from a really high number down to something more manageable, my physical TBR that is. Uh, I started out in 2019 with 240 books on my physical unread TBR shelf and at the beginning of July we were at a grand total of 49. Uh, it's actually a lot higher than 49 but Okay, so at the beginning of the year, I decided that I really wanted to prioritize the books that had been on my backlist TBR. So we now have a separated TBR. That is my backlist versus my current. Current is anything bought from January 1 to now. Backlist is anything prior to 2023. I'm going to roll over here. There's a thing. It'll help you out. Okay, so at the beginning of July, I had 49 on my backlist TBR, 34 on my current TBR. My goal for my backlist this month was 47, which means if I didn't get down to 47 on my backlist TBR, I had to unhaul until I got there. So we're going to go over all the books I hauled, all the books I read, all the books I unhauled or DNF'd, and then we'll see where the numbers end up at the end. Occasionally, when I do these, I will do my haul in this part of the video, but seeing as how I had a heck a ton of books, I actually have a full haul video um, that you will be able to see that will be linked up above and also my wrap up is also linked up above and down below for you as well. So we're just going to go through the books. We're not going to talk about what the books are about. We're just doing numbers today. Okay. The first two books are hauled books. They are going on the current TBR and that is the only one left by Riley Sager and Dark Corners by Megan Golden which is the sequel to The Night Swim. We then have a few books that I read the first week of the month. Most of these I believe were for Summerween which I had started doing a vlog for but then ended up not finishing because that's how I do vlogs. Uh, we have Off the Wall Creepover number 14 I believe number 14. Heartstopper Volume 1 by Alice Oseman. The Haunting of Gillespie House by Darcy Coates. Crawl Space, which is a short story also by Darcy Coates. The Secrets Within, Book 7 of the Sarah Normal series by Phoebe Rivers. And Home Sweet Haunt, which is Creepover Book 15. And these are by PJ Knight who is a pseudonym for a bunch of different authors that write under the series. It's, it's a thing. And then hauled a lot of books. I did the new covers of the entire Lunar Chronicles series. So we have Cinder, Scarlet, Cress, Winter, Stars Above, and Ferris. I have read all those so they don't count. They don't go anywhere. Um, also books that I have, some of them I have read. I have A Darker Shade of Magic, A Gathering of Shadows, and A Conjuring of Light, which I haven't read so that does go on the current TBR. Yes, I hauled these last month as well. If you want to know more about that, check out the haul video. We then have a couple that I read and I have Wrong Place, Wrong Time by Jillian McAllister, which doesn't come off of either because I actually didn't own it when I read it. But one that does come off is The Only One Left by Riley Sager, which we just hauled like a minute ago. I also read Dead of Winter by Darcy Coates, which I don't own a physical copy of, so it doesn't come off of anything. And then hauled another heaping stack of books, one of which we just talked about. <laughs> Wrong Place, Wrong Time by Jillian McAllister. The Memory Police by Yoko Ogawa. Sing Our Bones Eternal by Casey Rayburn. The Whisper Man by Alex North. Did the camera just move? Yes. Next we have The Bone Witch by Rinchi Pecco and a bind up of the last Herald Maze trilogy and this is Magic's Pawn, Magic's Promise, and Magic's Price. I then read The Memory Police by Yoko Ogawa. I then hauled Foul Eulogies by Lucy Rico and Daughter of the Siren Queen by Trisha Levenseller. The last book that I read of the month was a chunker that I read the entire month and that is The Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson. So at this point in the month it was like two days left in the month and I had not yet read Tithe which was the book that I pulled from the TBR jar for the month that I either have to read or unhaul. And I was still sitting at 49 books that I needed to unhaul to 47. So I was like, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and think about like what two books do I really just not care for? To be prepared, you know? So I pulled off King of Battle and Blood uh, by Scarlet St. Clair. 
mostly because uh, my cousin Ashley and I talked about this one and she really enjoyed the first book but the second book had a lot of trigger warnings that do not work for me and because of that I don't feel like there's any point in me reading this book and really enjoying it but knowing that I can never go into the second book I would rather just not read this book. So I'm going to unhaul this one. And the other is American Gods by Neil Gaiman. I've had this book since 2017. It is one of the oldest books on my TBR. It might actually be the oldest book on my physical TBR. And I feel like it's been six or seven years and if I haven't picked it up yet, I'm never going to. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this one off the TBR. And so then at that point I was like, all right, I can read Tithe. It's not very long. It's, you know, this little baby thing. So I started reading Tithe and I got 22 pages in and I DNF'd it. Um, <laughs> wow, my friends. Have I read Holly Black before? Yes. Have I read other than the Cruel Prince trilogy, Folk of the Air trilogy? Yes. Have I enjoyed Holly Black before? Yes. This book? Yikes. Uh, I read 22 pages and in 22 pages, I'm, so I'm going to tell you a bunch that happens and none of it's spoiler because it's in the first 22 pages. So it's really just like the beginning of the book. Um, they mentioned smoking like the main character or someone else smoking no less than 30 times in 22 pages. They were at like she was she's like 17 in a bar. Um, creepy men are asking her to buy her drinks. Her stepdad slash her mom's boyfriend tries to kill her mom by stabbing her and the police come and they just take them to their house and are like okay pack up your things and leave. Like there's no like conversation about which I mean sure you should just leave but like nothing is ever addressed that like is he going to jail? Is she pressing charges? Like, what are they doing? We don't know. They just pack a couple of bags and go to live at the main character's grandma's house, who lives at this beach that she used to live at when she was a kid. Okay. And, like, she goes to this party with her childhood best friend and some guys, like, sexually assaulting her. And I'm just like, no. You know, they're drinking, they're doing weird things, he's groping her. I... 22 pages in, my friends. Like, all of this happened in 22 pages. There was more. There was more that happened in 22 pages, but like, no. I know that teenagers drink. I know that teenagers smoke. I know that it's a thing they do. I have teenage nieces. I, I understand the concept, okay? But I wouldn't read an adult book like this, let alone a YA one. Like, I, that's just not my thing. It's not what I'm into. So I DNF'd Tithe and because I DNF'd Tithe there's no point in reading Valiant or Ironside so essentially I'm getting rid of three books instead of one. So if my math is correct and most of the time my math is not correct but numbers over here um, we should be at the end of this at 44 on my backlist because I unhauled five and my current should be at 38 because I hauled a lot and that's that's where we're at. I did reach the goal of 47 because I unhauled a bunch but uh got to where I was going eventually and with that I'm gonna slide over here again and we are going to go through the TBR jar and pick which book I have to read next month or unhaul. Um this has been about 50 50 this year. Um I started doing this in February and I think I've read three an unhauled three or read four and unhauled I don't I don't know for sure but it's been pretty even I dropped one on the floor I guess we're gonna take that one. Well, I'm old I don't know if I can reach it Ugh. it's fine I just have a dislocated hip it's totally fine uh we picked king of battle and blood which we just unhauled so that one doesn't count all right I got another one this one is Station 11. All right. Well, let me go grab that. Uh, so we have Station 11 by Emily St. John Mandel. I know that this is a post-apocalyptic story that takes place after a like viral infection has wiped out a large population of the earth, which is why it's been sitting on my shelf because I bought it in like December of 2019. So it wasn't the right time to pick up this story. This follows a group of people known as the Traveling Symphony who after the pandemic, it is called a global pandemic on the dust jacket. Again, why it's been sitting for a while. So after the global pandemic, they, the world has changed forever and they 
uh, travel around to cities trying to keep um, like art and music and these kinds of things alive and they come to the city where there's like a villain and it goes between pre and post pandemic times timeline wise and we just get like the story of how everybody's connected and everything's connected so shut off that will either have to be read or on hold by the end of August or by the time I do the next TBR takedown video because I give myself a little bit of leeway with that all right friends that's gonna be it for me today if you made it this far in the video leave me a shark emoji because we're reading Jaws for our author tube chat this month down in the comments below and until then I will see you guys next time